Okay, adding to the video I made prior to last night. Um, the reason why I was talking about the whole death situation, because the spirit of death be going to a lot of funerals with the person who passed away, and that person be at the actual funeral, watching all the people mourn over their body, and death telling him, like, you know, half these people here really didn't like you, right? Half of them are just faking shit. You, you do know. And it, first is like, seriously? He's like, yeah, look at their auras. Some are dark, some are light. The dark people did not like you. Light ones actually gave a shit. And you'd be surprised at your funeral how many fake-ass people just showing up to be seen. A lot of them don't give a shit about your life. A whole lot of them really don't. And then, he, then Death explained it to the person, like, that person had a vendetta against you. That person tried to smash your chick. That person didn't like your family. That person tried to steal money from you. That person was hating on your talent. That person was secretly wishing you would have died a long time ago. A lot of these people in here was having a lot of, you know, regrets of meeting you, regrets of dealing with your life. A lot of these people were fake. But because they know you're gone, now they want to pretend like they care to look good in front of other people. So that when they need something from they that from them claiming they were your friend, they can get it. And he's and your person's like, oh well, can I tell them? And he's like, nope. Now you're nope. Mm -mm. Once you pass away, you're cut off from the free will of humanity. You can't speak to no one. Nobody can see you. People have to be allowed to think about what people have to be allowed to think however they want to about the people that are at the funeral and you. He's like, so the person's like, so I can't say nothing. You can say what you want, but they can't hear you. Your voice is cut off from their ear. You can't be seen. You're, you passed away. You, you're no longer allowed to have any connection with no humans unless they're spiritual. Or you can find an energetic way to move something, write on something, or deal with a light or something other than that, or go to someone in their dreams other than that. You have no more free will. You're done with this time. You've passed on. You can't do it no more. Person's like, so you mean to tell me? I gotta let these fake ass people be at my funeral knowing they don't like me. Pretty much. That's why it's called free will. A person can freely do what they want on this earth, and when you pass, you can't do nothing about it. When you're alive, you can because you're still in the flesh, which means you can still make decisions, which means you can still be tempted by both good and evil. Once you leave the flesh, you have no more free will, which means the spirits can't tempt you no more. So. That's done. You have to let people think of you how they want, see you how they want. A person can literally walk up to your casket and talk shit to you under their breath and then pretend like they're saying something nice to you and then walk away. That's literally the sad shit people will do that. Or after you pass, somebody will walk up to your casket and spit on your face and rub it in so nobody can see. Oh, a lot of people get wicked at funerals. A lot of people. Anyway, so once you see that, you sit there, you hear the lies people say about you on that pulpit, like, that person don't really feel like that, that person does not feel like that, that person's lying, they never felt that way at all. Then you leave. There's, now you're disappointed, because now you know how people really feel about you. Second part. The whole thing about the Church of Universalism, like I said, it was supposed to be ran by women. The LGBTQAI community was supposed to be in there too, like I said, because they understand how it feels to be rejected for wanting to be something other than what they are or being seen as less than a human. So they have to fight twice as hard to be seen as a person. So they can relate to someone's struggle way more than a man who has you know, testosterone and kind of proof of it gets bigger, all that kind of stuff. Children, again, are supposed to be the elders because they can, they're, they can hear wisdom and just as well as speak it. They're, re they're receptive to change and they're understanding the things. They're quick to forgive. They're slow to anger. They still have an imagination. They still want to see things get done the right way. They're still open to loving everyone and suggesting ideas to help the future, not the past. But, you know, all that kind of stuff. They're open to hearing sound wisdom as well as giving it and speaking their honest opinion to help better stuff. Not just one-sided, I'm the man, you don't speak, shut up, I know more than you, you be quiet. All that kind of shit. No, they don't do that. That's why Michael Jackson wanted kids around him so much. And these are the words of Michael Jackson, not me. Interviewer asked Michael Jackson, why do you like to hang around kids so much and not people your own age? Michael Jackson's answer. 
because I can trust them. They would not cross me. A child is still innocent in the heart. A child's only goal in life is to be free and find happiness and enjoy their life until they get to a certain age where they can be corrupted. That's why I prefer children around because they're more trustworthy and I can share my most intimate secrets with them and they won't hold, they won't hold it against me like an adult and if I mess up they're easy, they, like they're quick to forgive and understand and they won't judge and they still have an imagination which means they're open to, which means they're open to creativity and change and a new way of doing things. You try to tell your dreams to an adult who's been through hell. They'll crush that shit so fast and ain't funny. Say that's dumb, that's stupid. A child is still open to new things. Having fun, exploring life, living. An adult gets to a certain age, they don't want to laugh, they don't want to enjoy nothing. They think laughter is too petty, it's too childish. That's why I hang around children. They help me keep my creativity. They help me stay young. He said, and I quote, coming up, I lost, Michael Jackson said, in quote, coming up, I lost my childhood. So, A, I want to be around children so I can feel young again because I missed my childhood because I was too busy performing and working. I lost a lot of my youth. So, me being around kids helps me stay young and creative. I want them around me because they're honest. They wouldn't steal from me and they won't lie to me. And I know... If a child should ever lie to me or steal from me, it's because of something their parents told them to do. Not something they wanted to do. So, yeah. Bro, you're blinding me right now. <laughs> Bro, you're blinding me right now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. But I say, that stuff is well-deserved, man. You worked hard for it. Yeah, man. It just gives up. Since I've been working with this company mm. and, the, and the guys with Brian Hart yeah. and women, they look man, they look rough, and you know we don't get respect anyhow. Yeah, so true. So always keep you, always your appearance is very important. That tells a story about you. Weakness. Mm -hmm. You don't gotta say, oh, why are you wearing this? That's nothing. To, that's nothing but work clothes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's good if I go wear a suit. Mm. But anyway. <laughs> 